Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evolution Stream here, here we are on Terra Huti Agriculture, this is by AE Mapping. It is 115.94 megabytes to download, there is 14 required mods that automatically download when you download the map, and they are as following. He Hall with Cooling Chamber, this is by Farmer 5 Tom. Package, Mega Silo by Lost Gamer. And we've got several mods by Ica, so this is the American Shit. Wide Garage or Garage. American Midwest Fertilizer Shed, American Midwest Truck Shop, American Midwest Cold Storage, as well as the American Midwest Mason Shop, Metal Garage, and lastly, the Big Storage Garage. Then after that, we got the Lizard Cow Barns by Mr. Hector, My Apartment by Grimlock RRC, Medium Bell Shed by Michael LS or Michaels, and for our last and 14th required mod is the Sheep Barn by Brody TV. So yeah, there is a lot of required mods, and actually some of those, for me personally, I do use like half of those, so for me personally, I'm not too bad at like, an extra five mods in that, and as long as they're not by Dutch Mod Incorporated, if you know my little rant with the other maps and mod reviews I've done, typically today on Saturday, finishing off all my mod reviews, or mod review and format tours today, because yeah, it's currently five o'clock, and I haven't done anything editing yet, so... After I've done this map tour, I'm going to get those up. But anyways, so let's go over the map description. Welcome to Terra Hoti Agricultural Farm. This is a fictional map where you can do farming, forestry and animal husbandry, which is a beautiful and fields are very large. And yeah, just a quick interruption there. In terms of where it's located, as far as I'm correct, I did try to do a bit of research on Terra Hoti or Hoti, wherever it's pronounced. I think it's based in Indiana, sorry, Indiana, which is a in the West Central Indiana, USA. So yeah, I thought that was a bit of information worth sharing in case you're from that area. But anyways, the map is made based on big agriculture accordingly, the agricultural areas and their locations have been determined. Initially, you can explore the map with owning a farm, livestock farm, as well as two agriculture plots. On this map, there are eight fields, one BGA, various productions and sell points, alternative buildings, productions are available, grain mill, and what's more, you can add whatever you want and however you want. The map supports all the DLCs. Have fun exploring maps. So, this is an interesting map. Ignore those visual glitches. Where I'm on last gen, sort of rendering distance does cause that sort of weird glitching does. But, if I just go over, it, it will clear up. So, yeah. Ignore those visual glitches. That's on my end with PlayStation 4 Pro being on last gen. Yeah, it does run the game a bit hard at times. But anyway, so we've got contracts and these are worth plenty. So for those in 200 grand, that is on the biggest field. But anyway, so explore the PDA first of all. So you've got eight plots of land or eight fields. However, you cannot purchase field six. Because yeah, I could buy plot four for 5.8 mil. I could buy that for 4.2 mil, but I cannot buy the middle field. So that fucking sucks personally. I wish you could purchase that field, but if I had to guess why, maybe it's because so that at least there's a field all year round to do contracts, maybe? But yeah, that's just me taking a wild guess. In terms of your sell points and all that, you've got the Amazon ship on the top left corner of the map. Going down, got your farm with all sort of the fields. Got a field with a storage area, I think that is. BJ is down here, so you can purchase that for 173 grand. And yeah, you can't purchase any of these little plots areas on the side of the map, which bloody sucks, but it is what it is. So, before I go any further, I'm going to get some money coming in. So, how I do these on my map tours, because I never show them. So, I'll track down the greenhouse. Anyone would do. Go to site extensions. Use the automatic water for animals and greenhouses. Place that down as accordingly. And there we go, easy 200 mil like so. And whilst we're in build mode, there is really no custom items. Because yeah, all these are just the required mods, so I'm not going to go over that. Actually, one thing I have a quick look at, because I can't remember if I got like, going down my notes. Nope, so yeah, no custom, anything like that. Decorations, I think there are some hedgerows in that, so... Yeah, by next to our apartment, there are some hedgerows. And personally, I don't recall if these are part of the base game. I think they are, just I never used them before. Because, yeah, apart from that, it's a very simple map and that. But, anyway, so let's go over slot count. So, on new farming mode, 
Slot count is 1289, and I've got that for all three modes. If you remove all the equipment, that can go down to 989 slots, but you can keep all the sheds and that. However, if you remove all the sheds and all that, I've managed to get slot count down to 682, so you can really sort this map with literally nothing, just the fields and that, with no of extra buildings and that. And then, yeah, that sets you off for the races, so... Yeah, got our vehicle shop down there. I'm sure these areas here are going to be like our productions and that, so... Purchase that plot land, so that's the BJ, but we don't get it automatically. But yeah, having that 200 million is very nice because... Yeah, these fields are very expensive. What's that? 5.8... 6... 7.5 mil... 12.7 mil... And then 30.7, 14.4. And if you want to include the main farm, 14.8, 14.9, 15.9, say 60 mil. You're looking at over 16.1, 16.2 mil for all the plots of land. So, yeah, it is quite extensive. So, as I mentioned, slot counts to that. So, new farm modes, start off with plots 1 and 3. So that is your field 3, field 7, and your 2 areas for storage. And yeah, in terms of slot counts to that, so... Equipment, you've got all of them from harvesters, or tractors, medium tractors, sprayers... Literally everything you need, including a nice square baiter and not a bloody round baiter, that is good to see. But anyways, with our equipment, start off with the John Deere 6250R. Then along with a selection of large tractors, so starting off we've got two. John Deere 8R41, sorry, 8R410s. Moving across, we've got Defense 942 Vario. Actually, we've got two of those. Then we've got two Class Action 96s. Then we've got the new Holland Agricultural T8435 Genesis. And then that's the John Deere 7R350. So that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. Nine tractors. On the one horse, we've got the Class Action 8900, which is a good choice. For your trailers, you got the Chrome GX520 and the Crampy Big Body 750S. You've got the Class Convo Flex 1380 header, which I don't think it's got a new, yeah, new header tray on that, but you do need a header tray on this map. Plows, you got the Converlin PW100 12. Cultivators, you got the Valstrad NZ Extreme 1425. For your seeders, you got the Amazon Saitan 15001 C. Your sprayer's got the Hardy Aeon 5200 Delta Force. Muck sprayer's got the Bergman TSW 6240W. Story tanks, you got the Flegel PFW 80,000 Max 9 Plus. For your baby's got the Fent Squadra 1290 UD. For your bell loader, you've got the Arkson FSX 63.72. And then yeah, you got the John Deere 700M, which goes with the John Deere 7 Rock Series you've got. And then lastly, catch my breath, got the Fleagle Ruby 2000. And that, actually yeah, that is for cutting up sugar beet, that is, is it? Yeah, Fleagle Ruby. Now that can be used normally, but I think you use that as well to cut open up equipment. So, let's tour the main farm now. So, fuel storage and that. And then yeah, we'll start going into our sheds now. So, first shed we've got is our fence and the sprayer. Because, yeah, there are so many sheds. So, yeah, I'm going to go over these because, especially these spell sheds by iCast, these are banging mods, these are. So, any, pretty much any mod by iCast, and that I highly recommend. Because, yeah, when I've done my mod reviews as of late, yeah, they do come out very well, some of these mods, and that. Nope, that's the last one we just looked at. Moving across, yeah, my garage area over there. And yeah, got more spaces over here, so this could be where your plow is, your drills and that, your large trailer and your small trailer. The small trailer's already hooked up to the cloths. This door does open sideways. And then yeah, moving along. Because yeah, we've got a bit of trucking to do. See, I think I already explored this shit. Oh no, so yeah, that's your power wash area for this. I can't remember which one this is, so I do apologise if I get my sheds to mix up in that. So yeah, go for the door here. And yeah, a very large shed in that, and... Yeah, 
typical your tractors and that. But yeah, this is why I didn't mind the required mods by iCast and that, because they are actually useful. And these are actual mods that a lot of people do use when it's not a required mod. Unlike, say, the map tour I've just done, depends on how I'm going to schedule these out. I'm pretty much going to release all my pretty much all but one map tours and videos and that on the series 5. But yeah, as I say, yeah, with the DMI dots want to incorporate stuff in that. Yeah, they do become very annoying very quickly with just being required and then force you to download them. And that's why they're so popular apparently on mod up in that because they are part of pretty much every map that is Dutch. But yeah, so enough ranting on. Going across and that, so we've got our mega site complex. This is a very nice mod as well. This is by, oh, what was it? Lost Gamer, also more than that. Yeah, got a shed in that over here. And then, yeah, if we fly across, I will get a pickup truck because, yeah, we we'll start our map tour from the shop. So, yeah, field two. Yeah, we need to go across field two, so just check in the PDA a sec. But, yeah, even example, even though these fields are large, you can make them even larger. I know, removing the trees and then BAM! <laughs> Smack them all down so... Oh, actually wait a minute, why didn't I have any of this selected? No idea why. But yeah, so yeah, you do have your BJ, 1 megawatt, and your production, so... I do apologise, I'm perhaps doing editing of... Yeah, icons being off. But yeah, so you've got your cell point stat, fuel station, feed and grain. Yeah, you've got your animal barns over here, so you've got your large cow barn with the feeding robots. And then as we come out of here, yeah, you've got your other Flegal Ruby there. Also your Flegal Ruby with the other John Deere. You get 6250 with the front loader and that. Got a couple of bunker side pits. But yeah, I'm just going to do this in drone mode because otherwise it's going to take too long. So yeah, let's go across, yeah, you got your pits and that. Bell and pad storage and that, and then finally another shed with your muck sprayer and that, bell loaders, bather, and your other trailer and that. So, oh sorry, that is your muck spreader and, sorry, tanker. See, I think, any of these fast enough? No, not really that. So what I'm going to do is go to the deer ship, start from there, get a pickup of the truck, and then we'll start touring the map. So here we are at the store, this is where your spawn point and reset point is for your equipment. So let's have a little tour of the dealership, so typical normal stuff, so trigger point is there, workshop is just here. So yeah, we are located down south and at the bottom corner, so next to the fuel station and feed and gain south point. So let's have a little look over there, and then I think I want to do it is to just go across. Then straight up and across, and then finish up north again. Actually, what, what I'll do is I'll do these three, go up to the um, deer ship, along the massive field of field 8. Because, yeah, that is like almost a kilometer long. So, yeah, like 200 grand for what was it, that spring contract? That is worth it. It's going to take a while, but there are some mods that you can use, things like the Kubota one that has the extended capacity and still have a 42 meter spread. Um, you mind please, sir? Um, uh, hello? Pulling out here. So yeah, here we are at our American style fuel station. I'll say American style, but like, the roof now, as I mentioned on the oh, camera, what map it was. Um, Arkansas one, that looks like a Etta Garage one, but without the room 42 sign on. But anyways, so yeah, this is going to be your feed... Uh, the feed's one cell point, so I think that is... Yeah, feed, feed and grain salva, yeah, your grains and all that. And also, yeah, crop candor that is base game by the looks of it. That's why I didn't mention that earlier. Also, collectibles and that. Have a little look on settings over here. Yeah, I do think there is no collectibles on the map, so... No to straight on there to the edge of the map. But yeah, field 8 is a massive cornfield, like... Actually, that could be very good, because you could get like a forest harvester. Use like the Homeward Terrador stuff and that, or the Colossus stuff, and you know, harvest is at 50 meters now, and get an absolute buckload of silage from it. So, yeah, you can use things like 
custom ferment silos where you can get a half a meal in what a month. But how to ferment so you may need a couple of those. But yeah, we are at full chaff and we're barely halfway up the field, doing 70 miles an hour or so. Yeah, if it's gonna do this the normal way using normal equipment, this will take you a while to do that. But yeah, I'm sort of scooting off up here now, so and get this bit out of the way, because it's like Technically it is out of the way because nothing else is up here besides from the fields. So there we go, that's the animal to your ship. I'm not saying this is a well placed area. And one thing I didn't check is yeah, we couldn't purchase that as well. Along with the cell points and the shop down south. That's the only thing I do not like. So yeah, got sheds over here and that. But yeah, one thing I do like is that you can't buy every area of the map. Even things like these buildings you can't remove now, I don't mind that. Have them fixed in place so you can't remove them in far mode than that. Or whatever the code is, that means that buildings can't be removed even if you own the land. But then again, just have that option to add stuff to it, things like that. I may not add too much to it, but things like the deer ship and that, you know, um, deer ship signs maybe in that, along with jet washers and that. Maybe you can go in custom garages now, or garages, depending on if you're American or a, well, a normal person. Joking, I'm joking, a bit of banter there. But yeah, this core field is absolutely massive. And it's giving me ideas for a video I'm planning on doing within the next week or two now, because yeah, as I mentioned on all of my map tours I've done so far today, uh, was it 45 days left until FS25 comes out? So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, when I get paid on Monday, I'm going to be ordering a PlayStation 5, so... Yeah, I'll be playing FS22 for the first time on PS5 now, so that means... Things like the Beacons, I can actually experience it for the first time. But yeah, I did have a PS5 beforehand, but... That was during Covid area and that, or the area now of Covid. Where a PlayStation 5 costs you, what, 5, 800 quid? So yeah, I can't remember how much I paid for the PS5 originally too much. Like, well, my graphics card, what I'm using at the moment for my PC and that, which is a Strix 380 Ti. Yeah, that was like 800 quid and that, so anyways. We are now back south, we're bang in centre on most of the map, well not quite, not even close, but so yeah, up here is your Aussie animal pen and that, so we're not going to go along there. Sorry, that made no sense. I'm not going along there. So yeah, we'll continue on. Yeah, got a nice little suburban area now, you know. Well, it's not just all farming, and there is a community on the outskirts, so things like workers. This is where they live, potentially. But yeah, with maps like these, these are like vast and huge cover now. That's why things like all, pretty much all the other maps I've done so far today, I've got one more to do, and it's, it's getting late now, so we'll get this one up now. So, one I haven't done so far is. Um, Wolfhagen, also by AE Mapping. Funny enough, that was the first map I downloaded, because I saw it uh new required mods, but... Uh, funny how things work out in that, so... Yeah, it's got all these like, interesting buildings in that, like, signs and that. Like the fire station over here. And then, yeah, this is where we got outside of production, so... I think this is the... Oh, no, cell point, I think it is, yeah, restaurant cell point. Then you got your grain mill and then a biomass energy area. So yeah, I'll quickly look at those. And then yeah, we'll do back round to the centre and I'll finish off at the main farm again, I think. So I'll do these maps and I'll sort of do them on the wing in that, so got your grain mill over here. And just want to double check. I think pretty sure these are all standard stuff in that, so standard recipes, 120, actually. No, they've been enhanced like 10 times almost, so. But I think some of these are t were 1200. Actually, I've got no, so. You can't purchase the area, right? So, yeah, I want to get a production now. Go with the base game Green Mill Net. No. Green Mill is it. So, yeah, land not owned. That, that absolutely sucks, guys. That's one thing I absolutely hate with a passion. Anyway, so yeah, production is down. Looking at the base game stuff, so... 
five four three six hundred twelve hundred so that is what being tripled like thirty times more so thirty times by five is a hundred and fifty so yeah these have been so it's been enhanced a bit more than that but I'm thinking yeah a lot of these are pretty much exactly the same it's just a different different kind of ratios and that so overall not too bad that just yet saw out for hmm, okay number seem a little bit off but not also off at the same time if that makes any kind of sense in that, which I know probably doesn't with how fast I'm speaking at, and my general dialect in that, because that's one thing I've noticed in that. <laughs> some, some feedback I do get in that is my speaking at, which I am working on. Actually, I did try a new mic in that when I lost my mic, but then, uh, yeah, it wasn't an official replacement, where this one has been a bit tight in that, so I will go on the eBay in that and have a look in that, and I think it was like a Racks to Riches episode where there was a clear difference in quality in that. One that I'm using at the moment, which is the original one, but a bit old in that. Seemed a bit, uh, great, not grainy, but seems a bit better in that. But the one I purchased, yeah, it sounds like a cheap old Xbox mic in that. So, anywho, we're at your other sell point, so I can't remember the name of this. Yeah, Johnson's Farmer's Market. So yeah, a lot of these are using the assets from like Elm Creek and that, the base game American map. But again, it's just, well, like I said with the map tour on, I think it's on Ehoff Aberdeen that, or Abenfreden, whatever it's called, the German map. That's also used like basic assets, which I didn't have an issue with. If you're using base game assets, I do not mind that. As long as it's done right and implemented in a certain way, yeah, I've got no issues with it, so... Anywho, we're at the biomass heat plant. So you're driving through here, I just thought... Come in, park up in that. So yeah, this is where your lumber's gonna go, I guess, and... Anything else, so... Actually, first of all, is there like, a production trigger in that? Uh, i probably doubt it. Will have seen one by now. Seeing the offload and the help icon in that. But, yeah, so... I think this will take things like your wood, wood chips, maybe like sugar beet and that. So yeah, sugar beet, wood chips and that, along with, yeah, straw and that makes sense. So yeah, where you think things would go is where they go. Things like restaurants, farmers market, on the grocery market is just a general. Funny enough, you don't have a sell point for planks. For those and that, I'm not surprised and that. Digestate, meh, yeah, here and there stones. Stones especially because I thought, you know, purchased the Debra Crusher and that, so... Actually, wait a minute, does this map have a BJ? I thought I said we had a BJ. Oh yeah, we're going up there next, so... False alarm. So yeah, I was thinking, hmm, where's the BJ to? Not done yet, and it's been a long day now. Again, try to fix my bike and that. If you watch my other videos recently, I've got a custom Yamaha Bobber and that. And yeah, rode for what, 10 miles and then all of a sudden the bike died and that. And yeah, I'm out of wit to the bike. It's been a month since I purchased it and yeah, it's not running. But hopefully tomorrow I'll get sorted finally and that. But anyway, it's enough waffling on. This is a map tour. We're at the BJ. It's a one megawatt one, so this is the biggest one you can get. And it is huge, as you expect, especially with like field 8 and that we saw over here. So yeah, this is where like, potentially you'll sell your size normally in that, and other produce, so... Turn it off. Purchase for like 1.5 mil, yep. So yeah, silage, surrey, manure, and sugar beet cut. So yeah, that is a very good. So that's 80, 160,000 litres a month, so... Again, that's, these are like the basic BJs and that, but we have BJ mods now, like the industrial BJ, BGA. Plant ET ones and that, and so much more. I'm actually wondering, can you sell this? I think you can. Or oh, slightly some of the buildings? Oh no, you can't, not with this map, no, because of. You can't purchase the land and that, can't you? Oh, you can. You've got to purchase that, so. You have thought. One would be able to sell all this stuff here and that, but. Nope, apparently not. That sucks. BJ being not sellable and that, 
Uh, kind of makes sense now. Again, I'm not too fast on that. There is plenty of space on the map in that. For example, like plots one, two, or three in that, or fields one, two, three. Put those into like, your production hub area in that. Bearing in mind, there are fixed productions on the map, so you will be limited on what you can place because I know it's 14 animal pens is the limit, and I think it's like 50 productions is the limit, so. Yeah, just be aware on that. And that is everything we've looked at, so I'm just going to go around back to the farm that. So yeah, overall, what do I think of the map? Overall, final thoughts and conclusion. It's a decent map, well done map. Rating, it's a solid 4 out of 5. Actually no, 4.5 uh, four out of 5, 4.5 out of 5. I've got to say 4 out of 5 because it's a simple map. There's not many custom stuff in that. There's nothing to enhance it above average, and average for me is 2.5. So if I give a map a 2.5 rating, it's not shit, it's not rubbish or crap or anything. It's just okay, average. That's why I usually on my map tours, when I give like a free rating, that means the map is just meh for me personally. But again, a 3 out of 5 is nothing bad, and 4 out of 5, which I'm rating this map, ain't a fault. And yeah, currently looking at the mod hub, the average rating after 78 um, feedback reviews or feedback on the mod hub rating is 3.8. So yeah, 4 is around about right. It's just a simple map, it's well done. I don't think I do like it's a required mod snap, but for certain maps like these and that, I don't mind. Because yeah, also I'll just quick look at a map as mod up page now. So this is technically his 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th, 4th map and that. Because yeah, previously he done Elm um, Rochester, um, Ben Waddle, the great grandfather's farm. Apologies there once again, I had a phone call on that. So yeah, overall, yeah, wrapped up summary that. I had to sort of go back on recording because I had a long phone call. But yeah, this is a cracking map in that. As I said, 4 out of 5 solid in that. There's no custom items in that. And this is a well done map. Yes, this may not be for everyone. Yes, there is 14 required mods, which. I'm really hoping going forward now with FS25 and that, that improves because there's ways it can be done with modders permission but again that is open a can of worms of being exploited I know even as a console player and that, not a modder and that, I can see how people use that and take advantage of that like with PC and that with you know Steam mods and that, mods being uploaded or re-uploaded onto third party sites which are non-official so at the end of the day it's, it's what it is, it's down to you whether or not you want to choose to use this map and overall yeah good map, big fields, if you're into that big American fields map yes there's other maps like Big Flat Texas where no required mods but yeah the yards and thing, yeah Big Flat Texas and that, that doesn't have the yard and that, yes you can use your own mods and that but anyway, so that's going to leave it today because, yeah, it's getting late now, it's 8 o'clock, how I've not got anything uploaded, I do not know, so next four hours is going to be spent editing these close as I can. Thumbnails, that's going to take, what, two hours to do three thumbnails and that. And that's going to include the fourth mod map I'm going to do, which is, um, yeah, Wolfhagen, Wolfhagen, uh, cross-play that, so that'll be done and that most likely now will be uploaded tomorrow or later on tonight in the early hours of the morning. But anyways, as I mentioned, if you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, if so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.